Hey everyone, this is Natalie Pace, and this is our Restormal Royal Manor House Retreat uh, meeting. So basically, I'm going to show you all of the great things that you can do at Restormal. For those of you that are already registered, of course, we'll answer questions. You've already received your Restormal resources email, which details a lot of things. So we've already done this once and it worked really well with these um, amazing things. There's amazing things to do, or you can do nothing. It's a five-star place that you might just wanna luxuriate in, watch the lambs in the meadow, walk down to the medieval village, walk up to the castle that was built in the 11, started building in the 1100s, walk over to the Land Hydrock Estate, up to the Duchy uh, Cafe. All of this is really easy walking and lovely forest bathing. So um, we'll get started momentarily. And again, you can also get details at nataliepace.com. There's a flyer there. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. Info at nataliepace.com. Considering that your registration comes with two 12 month all access passes to all of our online financial freedom training and three private coaching sessions, this is an extraordinary value. And um, yeah, and it's very, very uh, limited and it is exclusive. The Restormal Royal Manor House is actually owned by the Royal family. The Royal family stays there. It's booked a year in advance. We've already booked it. And um, you just have to reserve your room. All right, 310-430-2397 or info at nataliepace.com to learn more. And of course, be sure to watch this video. Okay, so I know some of you who've already registered are gonna be watching this back. Um, hopefully some other people who are interested are going to be joining us live because you can ask questions, but also of course you can watch this back. So the first thing I wanna say is that we are booked. We've booked the Royal Manor House from March 7th through the 14th, that's in 2025. Um, it's a full week. It's an extraordinary time to be there because it's right before spring equinox. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, I wanna say that if you wanna come, you must book by August 15th. And the reason for that is that we have booked, we have reserved all three wings. If you don't book by August 15th, I may release one of the wings and we'll just have two wings. And that means that you may not be able to join us. You might have to wait and, you know, we can pre-book you into 2027. So the next opportunity after 2025 is going to be 2027. One of the most important things that we do at the retreat is we are um, all going to be in agreement about one thing that I think is super important for all of us to realize. And that is that we're on a holiday. We are leaving our real life behind us. It's a week of visioning and planning and dreaming. Hang on one second. Okay, so if you've joined a few minutes late, you just be sure that you watch the beginning. You only missed a couple of minutes. But um, the thing that I was, was saying right before I paused it is that we are in agreement at the Royal um, the Restormal Royal Manor House re Retreat that we're all there on a holiday. So it all, you do all of the online training before you come. When you go there, it's to have a good time. It's actually... All, the whole experience is curated for you to now step into a world that actually is exactly what I'm trying to create for you, what I'm trying to teach you about. So instead of teaching you on paper or online, I'm just planning you there. Okay. So you've done all your online training and then you just go and live it. And you're like, oh, now I get it. Right. Now, the other agreement that we're doing is that you leave who you are and what you do at home, at home. When you come to the retreat, we want you to step into a world and uh, an agreement that everybody in the manor house is going to be looking at the possibilities. 
looking at their dreams, looking at their visions, sharing their desires. So in other words, what I'm saying is I don't want us to know who you are at home or what you do in the past or what you're going home to. We all want to talk about what we would be doing if money weren't an object, what we would, what we're going to create, what we envision, the partnerships that we would like to develop. And I even will give you conversation starters should you need them. You might need them the first day, you won't need them after that because once you get it, you'll be creating your own conversation starters, okay? And that creates magic. That is what really creates magic for us because if we bring our life that we left into the retreat, then we are not able to vision this, you know, I'm telling you guys, look, start looking at least 10 years out, start looking at least five years out, right? Um, the Royals, it is owned by the Royal family. Um, it was owned by King Charles, it's now owned by Prince William. And they think 100 years out. So that's what we wanna do is we wanna have a vision of the world, at least for ourselves, and then hopefully for our children and um, future generations. So I, I did talk about how you must book by August 15th. If you don't, you're not guaranteed a room. It's just as simple as that. I have to let the Restormal Royal Manor House know how many wings that we are going to need by August 20th. So if you don't book your room by August 15th, you are not guaranteed to be able to have one. So you must commit by then. We will do a payment plan for you, but you must commit by then. Okay, so here's some other details that I think are really important. And I'm also gonna show you some of the cool things that you can see while you're there, most of which you can walk to. It's just a magical little area. So first of all, I do recommend that people arrive a few days early because you wanna acclimate yourself to the time zone so that once you arrive at the Royal Manor House, you know, you're not hung, you, um, you know, jet lagged or you know, anything that's gonna impede in you just drinking in the full experience. Um, also, we, we do suggest, you don't have to, but it's pretty fun if you do, because a lot of us do it, to consider staying at the October Gallery. That's in London, it's a great location, and uh, it's very affordable for London hotels. It's a boutique um, gallery hotel, and uh, it's owned by the Synergia Ranch Collective people. So it's really cool that you're gonna know more about even this collective that was part of one of our brain trust meetings. And of course that I bragged about a lot. What's also kind of interesting is one of the local things that you might wanna do is to visit the Eden Project. And the Eden Project is inspired by Biosphere 2, which was built by the Synergia Ranch Collective. So this is all very integrated. It reminds me, I've got to send over a notice. Um, I kind of wish I were writing it down right now. I am going to, because otherwise I might forget. Hang on one second. I'll tell you what it is when I come back. Hang on. All right, so I'll tell you what it is. Um, just, well, actually, well, and now I guess I have to on the recording. Okay, so um, what I want to do, John Allen is 95. He is the creator of that Synergia Ranch Collective that developed all these projects. And um, when King Charles was going to be coronated, he had coronation champions. I had submitted the name of Ed Moore, and Ed Moore became a coronation champion. And I do want to put forward John Allen to the royal family for some kind of honor. He's 95 and he's still alive. So that's what I wrote on my hand to do after this is done. So anyway, uh, other things that you need to know about is the October Gallery is a great location. It's easy to get to from Heathrow by the tube. And it is it, there is a local uh, accessible station that's not too far away should you have luggage that you can you know um, drag over to the October Gallery. It's two blocks away, it's not bad. Um, I do it all the time. <laughs> anyway, no, you don't need a car rental. OK, um, if you would like to, if you're going to be there for a couple of weeks and you want to look into a pass, you could do that. Otherwise, you know, you can just buy the train tickets the day of and you may be able to get senior discounts if you're a senior. Um, I think they consider different th places consider seniors different ages. So who knows what age they would ask you to be? I think it might be 62. 
um, the arrival and the departure. So when you arrive, we do come in by train. There is, a tr I think, at least one, maybe two trains that um, are nonstop from London to Lostwithal. Again, you're going to get a resources email that spells all of this out. This is the train you take. Um, this is the one you should think about taking. Uh, here's the list of cabs that can take you from the train station over to the manor house, et cetera. Um, but you don't, so you don't need to rent a car. You are going to take the train. There is at least one, maybe two that are nonstop. You want the nonstop because otherwise a lot of the um, train stations that you might have to tra ch change trains, a lot of times they are not accessible and you're going to be stuck lugging this giant suitcase over you know steps and stairwells etc um also on the arrival it's like we get to the manor house at 5 p.m so a lot of us are coming in on the train by four and one of the local bakeries will stay open an extra hour for us to all collect ourselves there um, the last time we were able to hire a van to take our luggage over and then a taxi to take um, the passengers over. So we'll we'll consider doing that and we'll ask uh, somebody to help us with that. We have a fairy godmother in Lost Withal. Her name is Suzette Dawson. She also owns the local boutique. You're going to meet her and um, be careful if she wants to take you on a pub crawl because she's a dangerous woman. She's lovely, but she's dangerous. Um, Yes, so also uh, you may opt out of anything that you do not wish to do, right? So there's no obligation to do anything at all, but there are ob obviously gonna be suggestions of things that you might wanna do. One of those is a, have dinner with us, right? So the first night, usually what we do is we drop off our stuff and we might freshen up real fast and then run over back into Lost Withal and have dinner at the local pub. Who wants to cook the first night and you will not have had a chance to go to the local grocery store and there is one in Lost Withal. So, um, and we'll have already booked exactly what we want to eat so that it just arrives. The only caveat I would say is that if you've ordered something, please make sure that that's what you get. Because oddly enough, at the last meals that we had, someone was given a different meal than they had actually ordered and they just began eating it. And the other person was like, hey, that's my meal. So just, you know, make sure that you're actually getting what you ordered. And if not, that it goes to the right person. But this works really well because with large groups, what you might notice is that when you have a large group and everybody's taking the order and then it takes forever for the food to come, it takes forever to pay and you're there, you know, a lot of the time is in all of that maintenance. We book every, we book the table, we let them know exactly what we're going to eat. And it is just, everything runs seamlessly. It runs so easily. And then we can all jump in the taxi and head back to the hotel. I mean, back to the the Royal Manor House together, you know, um, later on. Of course, if you don't want to, you can stay later and catch the your taxi later. Um, I want to also say that we do try to do As Quits, which is another local restaurant, five-star rating uh, on the second night. And we try to do Restormal Kitchen, another local rest. All of these restaurants cater to the King and to, you know, uh, the Prince of Wales. So they are excellent restaurants, but they're not super pricey for being, you know, so excellent, right? Because they're in a small town and they have to cater to the locals. So you're getting, you know, food that's worthy for a king at a price that's a lot more affordable than you might think about. Um, also, I want you to think about is that spring equinox. So our dates are March 7th through the 14th. And then spring equinox is March 20th. So you might want to think about staying through at least that part in England. The reason for that is that Stonehenge takes down the gates on a spring equinox. And if you go arrive there at dawn, then you can revel among the rocks and it's, it's totally worth it. So I want to show you real quickly what I do. Um, I plan to do personally, and I think would be a really cool idea. Uh, for others to consider. I do it a lot when I'm in England, uh, and especially because you guys know I love Poundbury, which is one of the most sustainable cities uh, in the world. And it uh, was built by 
by King Charles. So let me see if I can find Poundbury real quickly. This is one website for Poundbury. And in this playback, I'm gonna put all of these links that you see so that you can easily access them too. Uh, here's another one, uh, Google Arts and Culture uh, did a, a, a beautiful, beautiful presentation of Poundbury as well. So you're gonna wanna look at that, but look at this. So Poundbury is a one hour drive from Stonehenge and you go through Salisbury where Salisbury Cathedral is. And that's also where one of the original Magna Cartas is. So what I typically do, especially if you have to be in Stonehenge at, the, at dawn, is you drive all the way to Stonehenge. It takes about an hour. And then you come back through Salisbury. We did this last time. Uh, I was there in 2023. So you come back through Salisbury and have a nice little breakfast and then go to the Salisbury Cathedral. And if you'd like to see the Magna Carta, and if we're lucky, we'll hear some of their beautiful choir singing, which could be amazing as well. And there's Stonehenge. And again, that's what normally you don't get to get very close to Stone, Stonehenge at all. You know, they have gates around it so that nobody can really get in close to it, except during the equinoxes and the solstices. So that's uh, one thing I would suggest. And if you go to P Poundbury and you stay there, um, then we could think about uh, trying to coordinate that as well. They may give us all a discount, but the Duchess of Cornwall Inn is the only real place that you can stay in Poundbury. It's a very small community. It's a lovely inn and it does include breakfast as well. So, <laughs> Um, one other thing I would say, whenever I do a big trip like that, where I'm going to, you know, six hours plus in a plane, I try to stay for 21 days. So I would just encourage anybody who is booking this, you don't have to, obviously, but it is a great idea to try. And the reason for that, let's say you do two weeks in the UK or in, um, you know, in that part of England, then maybe the third week you go to um, Paris or you go to Amsterdam. Uh, we had somebody that went on a train trip up to Switzerland. Uh, there's lots of great things that you can do so you can just see one more thing. Scotland's amazing. Um, if you're interested in co-housing, then you definitely wanna go up and visit Findhorn. And they do have little cottages that you can rent up there in Scotland. So that, these are all just things that I think are a very good idea to think about doing. Um, for those of you that have dietary restrictions, the UK used to be the laughing stock of food. It is not any longer. They've all been trained by the French. It's vegan and vegetarian friendly. Um, in the little town of Lost Withal, every so every menu has vegan and veg options. But also in that little town of Lost Withal, you know, we ha each one of the wings of the Royal Manor House has its own kitchen. So you could actually pre-order whatever it is that you need at Watts Trading, and they would have it ready for you to pick up so that you'd be all set on that. Also, um, they, the Restormal Royal Manor House does provide breakfast for us. It's limited, but it's delightful if you like this kind of thing. It's just scones and clotted cream and coffees and teas and that sort of thing, which is very English uh, breakfast, not of course the grand English breakfast, which you can get by walking up to the Dutchie Cafe. Um, so the grocery store, uh, Watts Trading, there's the Dutchie Nursery Cafe. All of this is about a 20 to 30 minute walk in different directions. Restormal Castle, a uh, 15 minute walk up the hill behind us. Now, technically Restormal Castle, is closed during that season. It doesn't open up for another month. So let me show you what Restormal looks like. If I can find it easily, I think I can. Okay, that's the manor house where we will be staying. And if you guys all book by August 15th, we'll have the entire house, three wings, the dairy house, the manor house, main manor house, and um, 
Trinity. And I think this next tab, if this will let me get to it, is uh, Restormal Castle. So Restormal Castle is literally up the hill from Restormal Manor House. It's walking distance, but it's closed. Now, hang on one second. I'm just going to stop the recording for a second. Okay, so I want to show you a few other things that um, are very popular for people to do that are very close. So don't forget to go to the Restormal Retreat Flyer and watch the video that Raina created for us last time out of some of our photos. Um, so that's pretty cool. But let me show you a few other places that you might want to check out while you're there. And you might want to start looking at you know, what you're interested in. And again, we give you a sample itinerary um, in our Restormal Resources email that we send you. Okay, here we go. So this is Lost Withal. So this is the little town that has all the restaurants and also has the, um, the um, uh, grocery store and it has a bakery. So, you know, again, this link is going to be in, um, you know, on YouTube so you guys can watch it back. Land Hydrock Estate is walking distance, or you could take a car. There, well, I finally found the pathway, like I, forever, it's, it shows, that's the weird thing. And this is another thing that's very important. If you are taking a cab, and, and Lost Whistle is about a 15 or a 20 minute walk from the manor house. You could potentially walk it with your suitcase, although it's a bit of a drag, right? It's like not that much fun to walk it that far. But um, the local cab drivers don't know how to get there. You have the only way that you can get them to get the, because it's it's not on the maps that they have. So if they have like they try to put it in there and it's taking them all in circles and they just don't know how to get there. We have this problem every time. If you know, um, and this is what the key to it is that you have to know the zip code. That's the only way that they know how to get there. Or you have to know the exact little road, which of course, um, you know, I'll, I'll show you and you'll know the day after you arrive. So you have to know the zip code in order to get the cat, cab driver there. Even if they're a cab driver that's based out of Lost Whistle, they don't know that where how to get there because it's a private estate. So um, yes, so you could go to Land Hydrock. And uh, again, there's a way to walk there. And I now know it at the time, the, the last retreat, I didn't know how to walk there, but a group of us also walked back from Land Hydrock and it's, it's a beautiful walk, as long as it's not too misty or raining. Okay. This is the Eden Project. Again, this was inspired by Biosphere 2. This is one where you are gonna wanna take a, a taxi to it. And um, a group gets together to take the, the taxis. All of these things are not included. So you might wanna check on the prices of them and decide what it is you do wanna do absolutely, what, you, what you're okay not doing if budgeting is a, an issue for you budget a little bit extra for some of the cabs that you will be taking and that sort of thing. So this is one, and it's really worth visiting if, uh, if this is something that you might be interested in. Nans Laden, this is another community that is designed by King Charles to be sustainable. It is close to one of the beach towns, Newquay. You could potentially take a train to Newquay and see all of the beaches and maybe have a brunch on the shoreline and then go to Nans Laden or do it the other way where you go to Nans Laden and then go to Newquay. They're literally right abutted next to one another. Nans Laden is a little extension of Newquay. It's not right on the coast though. So that's something else that you might want to do one of the days. Um, so the Nans Laden kind of Nuki Lens Nans Laden thing. Let's see if there's one more here. Mm 
that's Nuki. So again, I will absolutely be putting all of these links in um, so you can watch them back. This is the Duchy of Cornwall Cafe. So they serve, I think they serve all three meals there and they have a beautiful place that you can pick up knickknacks of whatever it is that you might desire. Um, and we, we bought, you know, some Duchy of Cornwall um, made by, you know, the Royal family uh, gin for our fairy godmother, Suzette Dawson, to thank her for being such a great resource for all of us. Um, other people bought other little knickknacks and there's a few people here who went last time and we'll, we're gonna give them a chance to share as well. Let me see if there's anything else. So I do wanna say um, just a couple more housekeeping things. Uh, we the Your registration includes an all access pass to all of our online training. So that's three to four retreats, three to four master classes for two. Um, and it includes three coaching sessions, okay? So the intention here is that you would have all the training done and you, you know, you may not have a chance to go to more than one retreat or one masterclass, but you know, most of you have already been to one retreat. So then, you know, you're a volunteer, it just pushes you up that path to wisdom, it's just so we can have higher level conversations. That's all. Um, the coaching sessions, I would say, it, you might think, oh, great, I'll do one while I'm there. We're going to play the billionaire game while we're there. We're going to be doing a, a talent show one night. Um, you know, we do have conversations ongoing. But again, my encouragement to everybody isn't to get a bunch of questions answered. It's to live in the moment and dream of the future. So my recommendation is that you do that and you bank those coaching sessions for after the retreat. If you need something before the retreat, absolutely happy to do it. But I would say you're gonna learn so much if you're present and if you're really just stepping into the intention of the experience, that that enough, that's enough. You don't need to get any questions answered at the retreat, you need to just live it. And then afterwards, you're going to have different questions than you would have at the retreat. And by the way, you're interrupting living it if you ask a bunch of questions. So that's my recommendation on that. We will do a payment plan. Um, the, it, the sooner you book, the better priority of room that you'll have. There are some rooms where there's a shared bathroom. There are some rooms where you have an ensuite. There are some rooms that have twin beds so that if it's you and you know maybe you're a teenager or or your college student, um, you know that you can share a room but don't have to share the same bed. So again, you're going to get the better choice of the exact room you want if you book it early. So it is important to do that. We will do a payment plan for you, and uh, it is fourteen ninety seven fifty per person based on double occupancy. So that's based on two people per room, right? Whether it's you and your sacred beloved, or you and your your teen or college student, or you and a friend, or if you want yourself, then of course you know you you're paying for two just to have it yourself. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop it here and then I'm going to unmute people so that some of like Susie and I'll see who else might have been there last time um, that she can share a little bit of her experience with you. And then, of course, you guys are going to be welcome to ask questions, but we'll start with with Susie. Let me just pause for a moment. All right. What can I say? Um it was a fabulous experience. The whole thing, I agree with Natalie to take extra time. I took my 23-year-old daughter. She turned 23 on the trip, and she went rather reluctantly, but had a very, very good time. She's the one that made the video. Um, made great connections with, you know, a like-minded people. I knew a couple of them before I went, but, um, you know, I consider pretty much everybody that was on the trip family now. It was just that great of experience. And so my daughter and I took a week before the Lost With Ill experience. We spent a few days in London, and then we went to Nuki and spent a few days in Nuki at a um, 
Airbnb, enjoyed that experience, took the train. Oh, we did the train for everything. And it was awesome. Very easy to do. I had never done that before. Super easy, cost effective, and just awesome. The The one surprise was when there are connections and lugging your luggage up the stairs and over the bridge and then down your, down the stairs without really the first time understanding how much time there was, you know, because people are like, oh, I gotta go, gotta go. And I'm like, wow, we gotta go, we gotta go. And then we had plenty of time. So we could have <laughs> done it a little more leisurely, but it's like, oh man, gotta go. Um, that was the only surprise. Um, Lost with the all in the manor house itself is just amazing. Uh, um, to find Michelin star rated restaurants in a little tiny village and the coolest shops and it was it was it was magical it it is just a magical place i would i would go back there in a heartbeat i did all of the activities that natalie suggested and enjoyed all of them so um hiked up to the castle i went to hydrock went to the eden project eden project is amazing takes a full day. You really need a full day there. Um, just totally worthwhile. And then my, you know, on the free day, we went over to one of the beach communities on that coast of Cornwall. And I'm forgetting the name of it at the moment, but had a lovely Sunday meal, their typical Sunday meal, um, and then walked around and it was, it was great. And then took a week after we did not go to Stonehenge, although um, in retrospect, it would have been something great to do. But we were in Bath. We were thinking of going to Stonehenge. But being in Bath post Lost Withiel was shocking because it was kind of like Miami during spring break. There were so many people and it was so crowded in Bath because it was pre solstice. It was just it was just shocking to us. So um yeah, that was our only thing that was like, whoa. Um, so we spent a few days there and then back in London for a few extra days and then home. And um, yeah, fabulous trip, fabulous people. Definitely stay with that mindset of not talking about who you are and your story and just being right present. I mean, I still don't know what half the people in the group do. And it doesn't matter, you know, because we're dreaming the future and we have connections that don't matter from that love it we had a lovely tea one of our one of our friends in the group met somebody she's very social she met somebody on the hike uh i think up to the duchy cafe and and invited them they were staying at the manor house as well in a different part of the um, property and we had a lovely tea for all of us plus them and learned just a ton of things so so much magic can happen there. It's amazing. All right. So do you have any last thing to add before I stop the recording? Okay, good, good, good. Hang on. I'll pause. Okay. So, um, you know, one thing that resonated with me that Susie was saying was how busy Bath was after Restormal. You know, when you arrive there, I think one of the things that you're going to be really astonished at is it is so private. It is a private estate. So it's going to be you with the giant meadow of lamps, right? It's going to be you in a heated pool that you probably have to yourself or a steam room that you have to yourself. There are other cottages there, but, um, you know, it's just that it, it's just pretty exclusive. Um, it's a grand, a lot of land, um, a lot of trees, a lot of um uh, different, you know, walkways. And I mean, you can just walk in a different direction every single day and come upon something, you know, you walk this way and you're going to end up at the land hydrock. You walk that way, you'll end up at the Dutchy um, cafe for breakfast. You walk the other way, you're going to end up at, at lost with them. So, um, you know, there's, that's the kind of thing I want you to, to be coming there for, right. Is that kind of thing. And of course, if you so desire, Suzette will probably take you on a pub crawl and that will be um, enlightening in another way as well. So um, again, do reach out to us, make sure that you make your commitment by August 15th. Otherwise we can't guarantee you have a room. It's just, I may have to give up a wing 
and that makes it a very limited amount of rooms. It takes it from uh, takes it from nine rooms down to six, and we already have three rooms booked. So that means there would only be three other rooms available. Um, if you are interested in a roommate, then let Heather know, and maybe she can put you in touch with another person. You have to decide whether or not it's a match for you. But um, that's a way to make it more affordable. And honestly, you're going to be in your room to sleep. It's there if you want privacy, even if you're sharing a room, there's a sitting room in every single wing. There's a um, you know 18 seat dining room that some people would go into and have some privacy for themselves. Um, there's you know acres and acres and acres of meadow. Um, one other thing is that that is, you know, it's the beginning of spring. Uh, England is different these days. So, you know, you can still have some, we call it drizzly days. There may be some rain, but most, most likely it's very drizzly. So you are going to want to have a raincoat and good walking boots. Um, the sun does come out usually at least once every day. So, you know, you are going to get periods of drizzle and periods of sun and, um, it, so it is a different experience, right? You don't go there expecting beach weather. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. But again, info at nataliepace.com, 310-430-2397. We'd love to have you, especially if this is resonating with you because it's gonna change your life. I think um, you could tell even though, well, maybe, maybe Susie said it, I'm not sure. But I mean, if you look at the testimonials that are on our flyer, I mean, most everybody said in one way or shape or form in different ways, it really changed their life. So um, if you're really ready to step into your power and put it on steroids, come join us. What, what I love also, there was one person that, uh, that came who was on the younger side and she um, shared a room she, uh, with somebody and, um, you know, she was really like doing kind of like the backpack version of it, like just really trying to keep costs down. And along the way, she just kept getting gifts. So, you know, um, I think someone gave her luggage. Um, someone may have covered a couple of meals for her. It was like every step of the way, she kept getting gifts as well. So I would just say, you know, I'm not saying obviously that, oh, you know, the universe is going to grant you freebies if you sign up. But I'm just going to say is that it doesn't matter whether it's restormal retreat or creating a co-housing project or whatever dream you have. When you actually put in the work and it truly is something that other people seem merit in. There are, it's like a golden pathway and the, all of these unexpected partnerships and people and help and, you know, you know, golden opportunities, they just start helping you. Um, anyway, so I'll leave it there.